Welcome back to Wit Acres. I'm Cody and Echo's over there. We're gardening at home. Today is February 13th and we are starting seeds. This is my first round of starting for Zone 6A here in Pennsylvania. We are about 10, 11 weeks from my last frost date of May 10th. And this is still my first round of planting seeds. My first round was my herbs, then I got my brassicas in, and this time I am planting my onions. So let's bring it down to the floor where I have my tray. Already packed full of seed packed full of moist soil. I'm using Happy Frog right there. It's a great soil. It's plenty airy. Holds a ton of moisture. A lot of peat moss in it. Today I'm planting onions. So what I'm going to do, I have each one packed in nice and tight. You want to make sure that cell is full of soil. Get your diver tool. I'm just using a pencil. Go ahead and make holes in each cell that you can drop the seeds down into. Today I'll be planting 36 cells of M.I. Gardener's White Sweet Spanish Onion and 36 cells of Berlin Seeds Red Wing Onion. Both bulbing varieties, both long day varieties for my area. And if you're in the north, you want a long day variety. If you're in the south, you want a short day variety. And then they have hybrids for the people in between. I grew white sweet Spanish last year, it was a good onion not as sweet as the name might make you think. It's a little bit of a spice for a white onion. And I'm hopefully going to get 30 of each. I have a 72 cell tray here. I'll be doing 36 cells for each variety. First off, the white sweet Spanish. And I'm going to be sowing four or five of these per cell. Because with onions, you can really group them together fairly tight. It'll grow as a bunching onion. And then about mid-May you'll be able to go out there and pull and twist out all the smaller onions as you go and take those for spring onions and leave the larger two or three in the hole to create a large bulb seen Charles Dowding do it multiple times with great success so I'm gonna try multi sowing my bulb onions and we'll see how that goes if you'd like to see if this works head on down and hit the subscribe button and you can follow along as me and Echo grow some onions. Just that one. This can take a little while. I want to put on a good MI Gardener gardening video or Charles Dowding, something to 
pass the time and listen to as you sow seeds I usually do but right now I'm trying to make some videos so I have some reference points to go back to during the winter when I'm planting my garden I think this will help me save some work if I start recording what I do now I'm going to cover up each one of those cells that I planted the white sweet Spanish onion If you wanted to, you could sow these multi sown and then separate them as you plant them. Then you just have a really strong fibrous root system. It doesn't break easy. You can really pull on them, get them to separate without actually damaging each onion. try and grow some bulb onions this year and actually get some large bulbs the ones I grew last year were about golf ball size so next up would be the red wing onion It'd be a red variety obviously and probably be a little spicier than the white sweet Spanish I want to grow this for my Oh, nice. Another plant marker from a Berlin Seeds. I grow in the red onions because when I make sauerkraut, it gives them a nice spice in the sauerkraut. Now with the same thing, I'm going to grow so three to five per cell. I don't want too many because I don't want to actually thin any seeds. That's just extra work. Why grow something if you're just going to cut it down? But these will grow nice even though they're the bulbing variety. Like I said, they'll grow good as a bunching onion. So you pull those spring onions in May and let it bulb up. Once the days get a little shorter, that'll tell the bulb to start fattening up. That's why it's real important to grow the right, the right time or right style of onion, whether a long day, short day, or hybrid for your area. If you grow the wrong one, more than likely not going to bulb up for you. Get all these cells planted. These seeds look like they're coated with a little bit of blue coloring, which really helps helps me see them. I like that. One cell short. Okay, cover these up just like anything else. Just sewing these about an eighth inch to a quarter inch deep. Make sure the seeds are covered. Sometimes they want to stick out. Okay. Now 
there's one more that I'm going to be planting today. I got all my brassicas in. I got my herbs started. And now I got these bulbing onions in. I am going to start the Tokyo Long Bunching Onion. And you guessed it. It's from M.I. Gardener. Tokyo Long White Bunching Onion. Let me set this tray aside. And I'll be starting these just in a deep two inch six pack tray. Let's see. Let me get some more soil in here. soil from the bag, put it in the bucket, then water it in, if you had water, like I said, just water it in, don't put too much in there or it'll get soggy, reach in there, mix it around, Make sure you got it all moist. Check the moisture content by squeezing. Look at that stream of water. Way too wet. Put that some dry potting mix. Mix it again. Even still be wet. Throw a little bit more in there. Right here is where the consistency you want. A couple drips come out, and the soil block just breaks apart. Perfect. So now what I'll do, go ahead and fill my tray. Make sure it's packed all the way into the corners. Don't want air gaps in your trays here. This is why I'm doing it on the floor because I make a mess. I'm going to be doing it on good carpet or good table. Fill these up. Try and get them all nice and even level. Packed in. Okay, I think that's just about right. Tokyo long bunching onion. So tw 10 to 12 weeks before your last frost. I'm in week 11 right now, so that's just right. If you're not in zone 6A, then you'll want to go online and look up your USDA zone and just Google it. Just Google your zip code, USDA zone. It'll come right up. Then you want to count backwards from your frost date, your last frost date, to see when you're supposed to be starting some seeds. For the bunching onion, I'm going to be sowing 6 to 10 per cell. Because these actually prefer to be crowded. 
they're not going to bulb up like your other onion. Just grab a pinch, drop them on. Pinch. They said I'm just guesstimating six to ten seeds per cell. And these I'll actually keep together. I won't separate them when they get planted out. They'll stay together and grow as a bunch and be harvested as a bunch. These will be spring onions. A quick six pack there. And they'll be ready in 55 days after planting. Alright, well that is all that I can plant right now at 11 weeks from my last frost date. As I said, I got my onions here, I got my brassicas on the heat mat already, and I got my herbs on the heat mat already. I'll set these in there with them, and hopefully have some germination in another week. If you'd like to follow along and see how this is growing, subscribe down below. I'm out.